Hello guys, um, hopefully in this video I can just show you the gore scan in a bit and just give you an idea about the gunship. Now my number one ability there gives me a lot of criticals. You'll see it gives me 47% for 12 seconds, recharge 94 seconds. So it's, it's a long time but it's very powerful when you use it. Um, Interrupts all negative effects, prevents new negative effects, ship is invulnerable for 2.2 seconds, very nice. Increases maximum speed for 17 seconds by 65%, very nice. F plus 50% to firing rate, regen speed, rotation speed, normal speed, strafe speed. F is just the plus 50% to everything. Now what I like to do with the gorse gun, because that's actually the star of this video, just to show you that uh, even with the lag, even with the lag and the packet loss, it's still very possible to just, you know, peg interceptors because people always wonder about the gauss cannon, but the gauss cannon, it depends on which targets you choose. You know, a, a guard ship is not a good target because he's going to uh, change his multi-phase shield generator or shield thing. The guard is going to go to kinetic and then suddenly you're not going to do any real damage against a guard. But let's look at an interceptor or something like another gunship that you can surprise. Let's go full out. And charge it up a bit, shoot him. Nice big, oh there's lag, nice big critical. You see, and he has to run, at the very least if you don't kill it. Check this guy. Uh, what I like if you put a gauss cannon on a command ship for example it's very useful you know to just uh, sit back in your command ship and just peg interceptors you know just take off their shields because they don't expect it so you charge up the shot because that's the real star is charging up the uh, shot it charges up to three shots into one so you know it's not a lot of dps but it's a lot of burst damage uh, if you There we go. Oh, this guy looks like he wants to get pig. Come on, lag. Please just work with me. There we go. You see, and you just pig. Interceptor, if you can't get the kill, just get the... Because usually after the first shot, people start to get um, hyper-vigilant, you know. I just, I've just taken a, a shot, so I'm going to start dodging. So what you want to do, start charging it up, choose the next target, and surprise them with it. Come on, lag. So let's see, I'm going to start charging it, find a target, find a target, peg him. Now if he starts to maneuver, charge it, charge it, peg him. You see, you might not get the kills once again, but this is just so uncomfortable for enemy interceptors. They hate it when you do this. They hate it when you do this. And if they stop, I mean, uh, they either run or they die. That's basically what the gore cannon forces them to do. Because it's so much damage all at once. Interceptors just hate it. Uh, fighters don't uh, really like it. And if you're in a gunship, uh, if you're in a gunship, the gore cannon can actually work down guard frigates. It can wor actually work them down because you press F and 1. And you use everything together. Massive firing rate, massive criticals. And if you surprise a guy, then, then you do a lot of burst damage. Just pig. That's all you do. You're not going to dogfight. Gorse Cannon is not for dogfighting. Very bad weapon for dogfighting. You're going to have a bad time if you do that. Uh, oh, he got shot down by someone else. Just lock, land the shot. Lock, land the shot. Lock, land the shot, and sometimes they get away. So you go to the next target, lock, land the shot. Don't get too focused on one target, man. Don't get too focused on one target. That guy's using his F, so there we go. We'll come back to him. F, yes, land the shot. There we go. Yes, land the shot. Lock, change target. And this is what the gorse cannon is good for. Not going to get many kills, but I mean, the enemy team just hate it. Uh, everything that's soft, if it sits still for just a second, it is going to get a gorse cannon in the face. 
and the other team know this and they get so paranoid that they don't sit still and they start doing silly things because it's pressure you, you place pressure on them gorse cannon not a lot of dps but a very very good weapon you can just scare the enemy team so much with it because no one likes it man you hear and then your health drops and then your health drops check that out no one likes this no one likes this come on is you you can dogfight with it sit back charge it there we go land your shot don't dogfight land your shot and then the gorse cannon becomes incredibly powerful I would not recommend it for all situations as you can see there is a guard here and I do not do well with guards it would be my last target uh, let's have a look if I start shooting at a guard you see his health does come down damage assist 27 I did not do a lot of uh, a lot of the damage against that guard but it's about the targets gunships are okay targets COVID ops like this one very good target you can see why recon ships amazing targets recon ships are your base targets uh, tacklers are your base targets like this one here uh, there's a gunship good target you see you can just work on them there's another gunship he's a good target work on him if I can hit him no there's an interceptor on me a covert ops very good target covert ops is actually the kind of target you want Come on, one more. Oh, he got away. But I'm not too worried. I'm just going to go for the tackle over here. He does not like my presence. You see, this is where the gun becomes uh, the star, you know. Because it's an incredible gun. Check this guy. Charge it up. Lock him. Peg him. Lock the wrong guy. There we go. Uh, peg him this guy I'm gonna press what one get some criticals you just keep keep uh, guys in the back we've got two guys here they are very alone and I see my team working on them so I try to keep uh, back up away from them uh, but we've got a moment so I'm gonna come and help because you see a guard is not a good target so I don't want to spend time shooting at a guard if there are better targets there we go see a gorse, uh, gorse cannon Charge the shot, get the lock, drop the shot on his head. It's like uh, you know, dropping the base. What's dub step? You wait for the drop, and then you and then you have a seizure. Okay, let's have a look. What does the scoreboard say? Ten kills, twenty-one assists. Um, it's a gore cannon tier three game. But, uh, I mean, you saw it. So uh, just you pick your targets, charge your shot, get the lock, drop it. Uh, you just keep surprising guys. You just keep surprising guys, and you will get kills. You will get a lot of assists. You will get pretty decent points. Um, let me just show you what I've done on the ship specifically. Gorse cannon, a lot of critical... 37% not a lot of critical damage bonus it's only on 50% but then I've got main weapon spread reduction because I want all four of these uh, gorse cannon projectiles I want them very close uh, on top of each other to hit uh, an interceptor you know uh, the smaller your target your intended target the less spread you want so I put this guy on this just helps me hit interceptors and of course the horizon module this just gives me uh, an extra couple of thousand meters or so uh, range of fire 4800 with the spread reduction high critical and then you can see not a lot of DPS uh, DPS is 1300 but if we uh, compare this to the assault railgun 2200 DPS rate of fire 200 rounds a minute come to the gorse cannon rate of fire 45 rounds a minute but the damage there is kinetic 1700 now um, these are four barrels so when you use it in, with a gunship, increases the firing rate by 50%, increases uh, critical hit chance with your 40% hit chance here, a bit of damage, suddenly the gorse cannon becomes 
quite, quite potent. Uh, I'm Cutlery Duck. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.